Hello and welcome back to round 6 of the Weishwart stream of BCS 2023 World Finals. Uh, we just now had a small, uh, quick game mm -hmm. between Gura and uh, Quint. Yep. And right now we already have a game ready for yep, for the next sixth round. and final round of Swiss, actually. Yes, they're both uh, currently standing 4 1. So yep. both of them are playing for the win and in. Uh -huh. um, and maybe. The loser of them uh, will still be able to make it in, Possibly. depending on the tiebreakers. Yeah. But uh, they'd yeah. much prefer to win. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't want to be in their seat. No, it seems nerve-wracking. Yeah. Uh, it seems like, once again, we will be having Avatar on stream mm -hmm. versus another slime list. Yep. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, if the players are ready, I think we can go right into it. Yes. And on our left, we have Hidden Squid playing Avatar. It will be another uh, tough bar yep. and Azula standby list. Yep. And on our right, we have EC playing that time I reincarnated as a slime, mm -hmm. uh, playing the same standby gate list as yep. we've seen before, uh -huh. um, with a few uh, small changes, of course. Seems to be the trend. Right. Uh, so game started off, and it looks like EC is going first with Slime clocked uh, the 2 1 Rimuru counter and then draws two. So looks like it's going to open with a Veldora. Good thing. Yeah. Yes, a Veldora. Yep. Solid 3 5 attacker on turn one, which Slime actually. Sorry, not Slime. My avatar actually has some level of trouble uh, contesting if it doesn't draw into. Certain cards. Usually it has access to the 3 5 on, but it yes. doesn't seem like this list is running it. Yeah, uh, instead, I think in order to combat the Veldora level 0, he may have to be. He may have to draw into. I believe this character's name is Boomy, an old friend. Uh, oh, but look, he, he actually hit. Oh, the he, had, ability. he hit the 3. Okay. He, he got a bingo. He can now fix for a Soka, it seems. Yeah, looks like it. So and also, climax or uh, level swaps where it's red. Do you mm -hmm. think this matters for now? Um, uh, I don't think it's a huge issue. Wolf. Yellow, Unless green. Unless. Oh, oh my gosh. Another hit. Oh, this is crazy. Wow. Already plus right. like two on turn zero. Or yeah. Turn that doesn't happen very often, but it did happen right now, so. Yeah. That's uh. <laughs> Quite a hot start with the plus two and a standby going and first. And a standby okay. also because he fixed the he fixed red for yeah, it. Yeah, so. all right. So it actually all did pay off. Yeah, what a what an insane start. Uh huh. So I guess at least fortunately for EC, his uh, Veldora level one is coming back. I think originally he wasn't planning to actually try field here with the. No, with probably the not. It was. <laughs> but after after hitting that, like, sure. Yeah, uh, I mean, he'll take what he can get, I guess. And. And EC is going right to level one. Already at one two after after his first turn. Yeah. Fortunately he does have both red and blue and his character did come back. I just saw a glimpse of a standby uh yeah. climax in his hand. I don't see any of the combo though. Yeah, it, I think he only runs two copies of the level one combo, so maybe he's not uh, not really expecting to, to do the combo that often. Yeah, it seems like it. So I guess instead he's just going to play the standby and get out a 2-1 and then go for uh, the Muran combo on the following turn. Yeah, most likely he's going to try and search one combo at least for now. Yeah. And just keep on doing, looping the Muran combos for the rest of the game. Uh -huh. Sounds like a pretty solid idea. And I'm not too sure uh, if Avatar has a good out against Mirren still. Uh, well, in this particular build, it doesn't really look like he does. Seems <laughs> like once Mirren's hit the board, it's going to be very tough to... Yeah, so hitting it. level 1 here and bringing, it out, uh, bringing out a Mirren to standby would be pretty powerful. Especially if he triggers one more. Yeah, and there's also actually a very real chance that uh, Hidden Squid doesn't even hit level 1 this turn after taking 3 attacks, as long as he cancels a little bit here. Yeah, it would be quite okay though, since he already has one level 1 uh, top on his yeah. background. But and he gets some extra plusing off of the Soka, mm -hmm. so it's not all that bad. Yeah. I think he'll be fine in terms of hand size, but it does mean that EC gets to have more time on his... Uh, on his mirror on things like completely uncontested. Yep. Um, 
one thing is that Mirren does need to find some cancel soon. Yes. Or else he's just gonna get overwhelmed by all the damage coming in. Yeah, but if uh, Hidden Squid doesn't play a global sort of climax and doesn't trigger like a whole lot next turn either, I think. If EC just hits 2 0 in this deck and manages to. Okay, I thought it would bring out a Muron, but I guess he's anticipating a standby trigger here. Yeah, or he, he actually expects uh, Hidden Squid to not be able to remove the 7 5 on the level 1 Rimuru combo. Yeah. But it would be good. Okay, oh, there it is. Yeah. These guys seem to be pretty good at triggering those standbys because yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever they're set up for it, it does come. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so Hidden Squid did level up. Yep, and Which he is trying to find another Toph for his combo. Yeah. Um, does Toph actually reach 7-5? I don't think it does usually. Yeah, so Toph gains 1-5 when you use an act ability, and then the climax only gives 1k. So in order to contest that uh that level 1 Rimuru with two global 1ks behind it, you're going to need a little bit more to... Pump yeah. it off. I don't know how. Uh, Usually, how it's the red level zero on that would help with that. Yeah. But also, the the yellow level zero on will also be fine. Yeah, the level zero on uh, on the last evidence, sorry, is uh, able to give two thousand power to another character when it attacks. Yeah. So, I think yeah, uh, as a two of he might yeah, be able yeah. to find it and pump power <laughs> to win one yeah. lane. But I don't think winning two lane this possible, which means uh, yeah, EC's going to have a pretty oh, good time here. Right, the other, the, the card in the middle is also like 6k, 8k or something? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 6k yeah. uh, with two global assists, so it is up to 8k, and even if he gets answered, he can clock on for it, so. Yeah, that's going to be impossible to remove. Yeah, I don't think he will probably commit too much into dealing with that card. Mm -hmm. We do see him clock. Yeah. We already know that he has Toph and the Climax in hand, so I don't think he needs to prep all that much more. Uh, maybe he wants, he would like to have a Brainstorm or something on the back. Yeah. The you, you can find it with your Toph combo, it's not a big deal. Um, I wonder what the Fed... Okay, so is this <laughs> gonna go... Is this gonna pass? There's, there's no right. way, right? Oh! oh. 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 Okay. He did mill... He, I think he's milled 9 clean off 3 copies of that though, right? In yeah. terms of Climaxes as well, so... Yeah, that card has kind of been doing a lot of work. Yeah, for sure. I mean, even if he if he had hit a climax, it would have been it's a climax that he could yeah. add to his hand. That's yeah, crazy. it's still fine. Oh, and he doesn't play any cards on his back row, so I think he I think he wow. might be a bit not even a oh no sorry he has, he has a go about but yeah no but okay oh, so it's pretty good. So that pumps it up to s oh no he hasn't used an act ability though has he? No, I don't yeah. think so. So. The top won't be able to reach any of these. It seems. Yeah, and that cancel for three as well. So I think EC is feeling pretty comfortable. His body language suggests that. <laughs> well, it would have been great if he already had the two two discarded before. Yeah, but it's always hard to tell mm -hmm. in advance. Get a level zero. Prepping the level zero on and the level zero soka. Triggering the bar, yep. or an on that turns yeah, into, a into a bar, and cancels here as well. Wow, win three lanes at this stage of the game is a huge advantage. Yeah, it's it's a lot of soul damage that you're going to push in first yeah. deck, and that's generally going to be scary. But however, Hidden Squid has been milling a lot of clean damage, so yeah, his deck's probably more compressed than like an average deck of this size in the first deck so yeah he might be okay with just taking a few swings of three here it's a bit unfortunate that he couldn't play any other characters on board uh, yeah. because he will need to discard this turn but on top of that um ec is on one and five now which means that he can clock draw and then probably just play over his clock on core and then uh Forced, you, he can pay the cost of the clock on combo by clocking itself, so it doesn't actually come back. Mm -hmm. And then he can hit 2 0 and then go off and combo with his the Muron in his hand as well. Oh, right. That's he could also just play another standby combo in this turn. Yeah, as he just drew one off the top right there. So, actually, quite a lot of options. Uh, he does clock. 
which I think if he was going to go for standby, he didn't really need to. Because uh, that looks like seven cards. Yeah, so he could brainstorm, standby, yeah, double then, trigger. Yeah, and that would have cleaned his deck. He certainly has more than enough hand, so. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's planning to go for some Muran play over here. Mm. Maybe an overplay over his 1 0, clock on coring. Yeah. Compressing his deck a little he's bit. He's at least Seems contemplating. Decent. But, uh, he's he is going to neck two cards, but it's not a big deal when you have this many cards and stuff. Yeah. I think one of his issues right now is getting rid of the other standby climax in his hand. Yeah. Or Which I think he. Yeah, oh. I think. Just by going with the slam standby line. Oh, no, but then he's, na he's not. Uh, his deck's not thick enough to follow it up now. Moves the 2 1 up and yeah, moves the 1 0 back. So I think he's probably going to stand by there. Stand by over the back row and trying yeah. to find another 2 1 or a mirror. Yeah. How how big is the 2 1 right now? It's also quite decent, actually, right? It's like uh, 7. I think it's base 7k. Uh, 6k, sorry, yeah. I think 7k. <laughs> it's kind of huge for an assist. Yeah. Oh, but all right. He brings out a mirror in the back instead. That's uh, he's gonna go for triple combo, including the one in his hand next time. Mm -hmm. Attacks with the twin driver first, which I suppose makes sense because if he triggers a standby over the next deck, it can play over that card. Well, he would be able to stand by level three at that point yeah. from his clock. That would be pretty cool. So I think he's just missing the two climaxes that are one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. So there's the one in his hand and the one that's currently in the climax zone. Mm -hmm. He does have his clock compression, so he is reasonably compressed and with a reasonably small deck. Yeah. So that means you can you can control your deck a little bit better. Brainstorms will be more effective in uh, clearing your cards and deck. Yeah. Um, I think on our left we also have a pretty compressed deck. I think. Uh, Hidden Squid is currently out four climaxes after that cancel. Yeah. So it's not that likely to actually stick much damage this turn. Mm. But it's also not okay. That Ooh. isn't. He might too be bad. able to get yeah. it back in hand if he triggers another plan uh, yeah. gate. And that's another know. cancel. And two, yeah, two lines. Finishing off with two, and that does stick. So now we're heading into another level one turn on yep. the left. And I'm actually not sure if Hidden Squid was quite prepared for another level one turn. It does seem like he has a bar in hand, though. Okay. Well, that being said, I don't, even if he has cards that he can play, it still seems somewhat unlikely that he can deal with the, the characters that uh, EC has in the front row. Because uh, he wasn't able to match those numbers last turn. So I don't think he... Oh, sorry. He was able to match one, but... Yeah. Yeah. I think generally for Hidden Squid, it will be just uh, just crashing a bunch of lanes. Yeah. Hopefully clearing the 2-1 assist to soften up the defenses on, a, on the opponent's side. Yeah, I think that's probably what he needs to go for here. Is and he if it's smaller than the Ooh. rest of the pool. He only refreshed five climaxes, I think, and now Kay. he also took the refresh damage climax. That's the yeah. only four left in this deck. He's That's gonna have great. to cancel really well in this not so compressed deck, or go through his deck really fast. But I don't think, given mm. his stock situation, he can afford to do the second option. Do you know if this play is legal? Sorry, what's the? He w he had zero cards in gray when he used Soka. Oh, uh, I think we might have to. Get a judge on that. One. We should get a judge to check up on that. Yeah. So generally, you should be able to use uh, use these kinds of effects. Yeah. But if there's no targeting grave, like imagine if uh, Soka would pay out a climax with uh, with that ability. Yeah. Um, he wouldn't be able to pay the rest of his cards, yeah. and he wouldn't need to somehow get a reverse. Um, so it would be good to get a judge in on this one. Uh -huh. 
I'll be pulling it as right now, but uh, let's just keep watching the game as it goes for the moment. Yeah, hopefully they don't at, uh, advance in the game state for too yeah. much, or it might be hard to revert from this point. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't really seem like there's much movement on the back there, yeah. but right, they well did pause a little bit, so that that is a hmm. good thing at least. Yeah. Seems like uh, he's oh no, he played playing the cards. <laughs> and okay. it's uh, slowly getting to a game state where it's hard to be reversed. Well, we'll just see what happens. So yeah. Anyhow, it'll be fine. Let the uh, judge handle that when they do. But for now, it looks like he's going to go for a triple top turn, which honestly, I'm a bit surprised that he managed to do it. But it looks like a pretty dangerous situation that he's going to go through like half of his deck. Mm -hmm. And the best case scenario is that he just doesn't see any climaxes. And, uh, you know, he, he just shaves off half of his non compressed deck. But if things go south, it means that he just loses, the, he does lose the climaxes. So. Yeah, and it's gonna be very hard to recover from taking too much damage. And it right. seems like the judge is slowly approaching the table, so maybe it will be possible to uh, to kind of get a reassessment on the game state. Yeah. And then, oh, there's a climax gone. Ooh. Losing another climax in this in this deck state is not what you want to see. No, but he does get some good prepping. He, get, he gets a couple of sokas for his finisher turn. Also, so EC just took everything this turn, which is not expected. Oh wow! But EC is already at, at the three. same time, if that just like entices EC to push here, that could be bad news for uh, Hidden Squid. Yeah, it's very hard to do an explosive finisher from. Uh, for slime in general, yeah, like start from from level two, it's I don't I don't think slime has the reach to reach to kill from there. No, I don't. But it might have a similar effect to the uh, one of the previous games we had, where an Adventure Time player decided to just throw a bit of damage, even though it probably wasn't going to win immediately on that turn. But, but uh, looks like the judge is dealing with that. But uh, continuing with what I was saying, because uh. Because Avatar loses attacks when it has to um, do its final turn on a high amount of clock on its own end, I think just pushing a lot of damage on this turn from uh, EC's side may just actually end up being a good defense because Hidden Squid can't suffer as many times as he wants to. But yeah, it's quite a big issue you sometimes run into as Avatar player yeah. that you just can't damage yourself even more to, yeah. to push more damage. Right. If you have to go into final turn on like 3-5, you heal down twice, but you can only hit yourself twice with Sokka, so even if you have all the resources in other aspects, you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to like make the maximum of attacks. Okay. So yeah. uh, so it looks like the game got paused there, uh, judges handling situation, but uh, Assuming the game kept going, what what do you think would have happened there? 